Here we've got the robot key tilt switch. Now, here's the main component, the actual tilt switch, and inside it's got a little ball. This little ball will make a connection or stop making a connection depending on whether or not it's turned. Now here we've got two places we can put it. We can mount it horizontally or vertically, which makes it really awesome depending on how we want to mount this. We've got a lot of freedom and flexibility. So as you can see here, the ball is away from the two pins, so there's no connection. As I turn it, the connection goes on and the LED goes on. A lot of times these sensors are used for security applications, so maybe you've got a doorknob and you want to know if it's been turned, maybe you've got a pet door that you want to know when it's open and you want to set an alarm based on that signal. You could even use it for an art project that's interactive, so as people are turning different objects, they get different sensory output. Depending on your application and how you have your box, you can even use a cable to take your tilt switch away from the main board so you've got even more freedom. So here we've got another great example of very quickly and easily connecting different sensors and output boards to a Robot Geek Shield and having a project up and running in no time flat.